Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a rectangle and inside this rectangle is a diagonal with 10 units and two semicircles with unknown diameters. And uh, but the total is for the diagonal is 10. And we are required to find the area of this red rectangle. Okay, so for the any, any area of a rectangle, it is just simply the length times the width. But in our case, the width is actually equal to the radius. As you can see, this radius of this uh, semis, the blue semicircle. So we label this uh, width as R. Next is we label the diameters of the uh, semicircle. So we label this as A, this for the blue semicircle, and B for this yellow semicircle. And we label this distance from this point of the yellow semicircle to the uh, this right bottom right point of this rectangle we label that as C. And by inspection we uh, we have a formula for the area which is area is equal to the length which is B plus C times the radius R or the width of the rectangle. So this is actually the area. And also, as earlier, we have labeled the radius as the width of the rectangle, the radius of the blue. And the diameter is A for the blue. So if the diameter is A, so A the being the diameter is equal to twice the radius of this blue semicircle. So we have A is equal to 2R. Okay, so next is we focus on this. Uh, triangle this uh, shape the triangle that we want to focus on this is the biggest uh, right triangle inside this rectangle so it is formed by this the sides of the rectangle the length and the width and the diagonal inside so if we get the ratio of this longer leg over this hypotenuse we have b plus c all over 10 it is equal to a ratio of another triangle that we will form now so by forming this another triangle we need to draw a line in this point to this point they are actually similar to this largest right triangle because they have the same uh, three sets of angles. So this is the first angle, this one, and this is the second, uh, the corresponding angle. So they are actually uh, equal because of alternate uh, exterior or interior angle. Okay, so and next is this angle. This is a 90 degree angle because of Thales theorem. So uh, recall that if we have a an angle that is opposite a diameter, because this length a is a diameter, then that angle is actually 90. And so if we add this, uh, I mean, if we add this uh, two angles, it is say this is A, so this is A, and this is 90, and this is also 90, this is 90, and this is also 90. So that A, angle A, corresponding to each one, each other, should have another set of angle, which is this angle, which is a complement, so which, if we label this as B, then this is also B. So these two triangles are similar.
Okay, so shading this next triangle. Uh, we have this triangle. Okay, so this triangle, if we get this, the shorter length, and that is 7, that should be 7 over the hypotenuse, which is A. So the hypotenuse is A because it is opposite this right angle. Okay, so recall that we have A is equal to 2R. So we rewrite this B plus C over 10 equal to 7 over A, which is 2R. And since we are only after this b plus c times r if we cross multiply this b plus c times r and it is equal to 7 times 10 and we retain the 2 because we need this a, a, a b plus c all times r okay and we can actually replace this as the area because earlier also we have area is equal to b plus c times r so it is equal to 7 times 10 over 2 so we'll just simply divide this 10 by 2 so we have 5 so we have 7 times 5 is 35 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.